Okay, so hi guys. Um, my wife and I stumbled upon this book while we were browsing through book sale. Uh, book sale is a used books store here in the Philippines, and we got this book for really cheap, uh, around ten US dollars. It's four hundred fifty pesos here, so ten US dollars, and. I think it's a good buy. Uh, don't let the cover fool you because even though it looks like it is a children's art book, it really isn't. Uh, this book is actually, how do I put it, quite advanced. There are tons of really awesome mech illustrations here and i think it's just sad that they decided to go with the cover illustration i mean look at this this is very nice i mean this would have looked better as a cover for the book instead of this but i guess it's okay uh basically i was thinking that perhaps this book was initially aimed for younger children in that case, I guess it worked, but it's just sad because I remember seeing this a long, long time ago at National Bookstore and passed on this because of the cover. Uh, for me, it looked too childish. But anyway, I'm glad that we bought this book. Uh, the materials here, as most art books do, are already dated. I mean, we don't see this type of tablets anymore. And scanners are well thinner now and basically just better but anyway that being said the rest of the book is really really good the the technique presented are really nice and as an extra instructional material I think this book really really delivers now it's been a while since I last enjoyed a good art book uh, by that I mean it's been a long while since I actually went in and tried going through the activities in the art books that I've bought uh, why I don't know uh, probably because I thought that I was too busy then but recently after trying to finish Inktober I realized that if I really wanted to, I could set aside perhaps an hour or so just drawing. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to hit day 31 of, of October because my father got hospitalized two weeks before our wedding. And a week before the wedding, I decided that it's best that I stop working on any of my projects and took a break so I only got on to day 24 and this was my last work and it got me thinking that perhaps it would be fun to develop the habit of studying and try to burn through the activities in some of the art books that I have and this one being what I think is the most fun at the moment, I chose to start working on this and hopefully share with you guys how I work on the robots here. Uh, the plan is to take the activities, say for example, uh, the military robots uh, take this assignment study it make up my own sketches and document how I work on them how I draw them and come up with my own take on this military robot with my own concept with that now I'm not sure as to 
what level I'll be able to bring the artwork to. Uh, most probably, uh, what I can promise is a line art with some shading. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, similar to this one. And hopefully, maybe if I have a bit more time, color it. But I don't know. I'm not sh so sure about that. But I think I can sketch and shade the drawings. Now, the goal is to work on this for a hundred days. So, since it's a 50 assignment project, it would take me, I guess, two days to come up and finish one mech illustration and share the output with you guys. I'm not sure if I can upload on a semi... I mean, I'm not sure if I can upload for every two days, but I'll try. So I think it would be fun to really go and fill up a this sketchbook with it. Um, this has been with me for two years. It's a gift from my sister-in-law. And it's really, really fun to draw on. So, okay, hope you enjoy what I'll be doing and I hope you pick up a thing or two and God willing it will really help me improve as an artist uh, my goals for this activity is to well first and foremost develop the habit of studying daily uh, it's something that I used to do uh, before I started freelancing something that I've neglected for the past five years so hopefully this will kickstart the habit again and well second is to just rediscover the joy of drawing for myself because i have to admit i really feel a bit burned out by the projects that i've been working on because well sometimes you work on a on an illustration or perhaps a book like what happened to me for the past two months and I sort of wonder if there is a way for me to improve beyond the assignment. So God willing, by the next book that I work on or by the next project that I work on, I could bring something more to the table and basically just improve as an artist and deliver a better product for my clients. So yeah, this will be a 100 day challenge. God willing, I'll be able to do it daily. And if you happen to stumble upon this book, I'd suggest you go and get it. It's really nice. It makes for good reading. And the activities are really, really planned out well. And they cover the basics. And they tackle almost the whole gamut of drawing mechs. So there, uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me as I work through this book, okay? So there, thank you, and this is 50 Robots to Draw and Paint by Keith Thompson.